The Hess Center is the fulfillment of a dream. When I look at this building, what I see is the reflection of a new science. A science that's much more effective, much more collaborative, and can solve the kind of complex problems that we face today in medicine and medical research. Great things are happening at Mount Sinai all the time, but undoubtedly great things are going to happen in this building. I look at really Mount Sinai going into the new era of medicine and, and, and really going into 21st century medicine, innovation and discovery. With the Hess Center, I see transformation at Mount Sinai of the entire research paradigm. The opening of the Hess Center for Science and Medicine is a milestone in the history of Mount Sinai. In this building, we're going to make discoveries that affect our patients, and that's the ultimate goal of Mount Sinai. When we look ahead in 10 years, I, I think the likelihood at this point for a large number of cancers, we're going to be able to put people in remission for many, many years. 10 years from now, we'll have many examples where we've made a real difference in the health of the children in New York City, in the U.S., and throughout the world. We're going to make discoveries that change medicine. New treatments for patients with cancer and heart disease and Alzheimer's disease and depression. All this is going to happen at the Hess Center for Science and Medicine. Moving from disease to health, the integration of the heart and the brain, and then the new technologies really is where the future is. We want to stay true to Mount Sinai's long tradition of excellence in the neurosciences and over the next 10 years uh, make major strides in uh, conquering the plagues of our time. Our vision was to create a center that would provide the resources and the facilities to be able to attract the greatest talent in medical research in the world. Mount Sinai is a place that has the vision and the resources to develop an extraordinary vaccine and immune therapy program. The beauty of the Mount Sinai situation here is we have in one place, in one building, MDs seeing patients, we have basic scientists asking basic science questions, and we're going to be talking to each other and we're going to be trying to figure out how we can best solve this problem of breast cancer. The Center for Technology, Innovation, and Entrepreneurship is a new center here at Mount Sinai. And the goal of the center is to teach faculty and students about how to take basic discovery from the bench all the way into treating patients. I think we have one of the most brilliant group of investigators in the country right now. And what is unique in this building is how we are going to be all integrated. We are the pioneers of information-driven, mathematical modeling-driven decision-making so that we're actually basing decisions on what's happening in a patient on their full complement of molecular cellular information, using mathematical algorithms to crunch that all and then to interpret what's going on and feed that information to the physician so they can better diagnose and treat the patient. We are now trying to push the field of nanomedicine. These small nanoparticles that you inject into the body that becomes basically sensors. They tell you, you know, I see a tumor, I see a disease. So that gives us a detection at the molecular level. Through genetics, we can personalize medicines. What we're now discovering, there are ways to unblind the immune system so it'll see the cancer and reject it. How through genetics we can identify people who might develop a disease in the future. The type of work I'm going to be doing at Mount Sinai is going to be investigating some of the nuts and bolts of what's wrong in tumor cells and using that information to try to develop new cancer therapies. I'd really like to be known for the approaches that I've developed to boost the immune system to control infectious diseases and cancers. We are hoping to make a difference in allergy and asthma, in diabetes and obesity, in neurodevelopmental disorders, and in heart problems that children are born with. I think collaborations is the willingness to make the effort to work across disciplines. You never quite know where that new innovation is coming from. 
One of the advantages of being here in the Hess Center will be our close proximity to other major groups like heart, like child health, like cancer, like genetics. And we fully expect there to be discoveries from interactions between our scientists and scientists in those other areas that will drive advances in all of our disciplines. A revolution is going to take place in medical research. The synergies that are happening with these exceptional scientists and clinicians working side by side are going to usher in a new era of science and clinical care at Mount Sinai and I think for the world.